Okay, hi all. Um, so I'm Marco Sid. I'm talking about evolving allocation rules for beam search heuristics in, in assembly line balancing to do with uh, genetic programming. So I want to give you a short background in assembly line balancing, which is our main application. In the background, you can see uh, um, uh, uh, the production line of a Ford Model T. So this is basically an assembly line uh, you, you may keep in mind. Um, then I will talk quickly about how we evolve task selection rules with genetic programming for this problem and present you some computational results. Um, so assembly lines, basically a, a, a production mode for, 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 for large scale production. We have a couple of stations and you pass the, the partial product from station to station until it's finished. And these stations are typically synchronized. Um, our focus in this work is um, to work with workers with disabilities. In the background, you can see uh, uh, in, in, uh, very, very lightly also a line that we have workers with disabilities. Um, and we are mainly interested in um, um, uh, hiding disabilities in these assembly lines. And it turned out this, this is a good model for, uh, for having, having workers with disabilities. So each, each one can, can focus on tasks which work well. Formally, we have a, a, a partially ordered set of, set of tasks, uh, a set of workers, M stations. We have task times which depend on the worker and, 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 um, and the task itself. And it's also possible that uh, certain workers cannot execute a certain tasks. And what we want to find is a task station assignments or assign the tasks to the stations, uh, satisfying the precedence constraints. So there may be a, uh, there may be a certain order the task has to be executed given by the partial order. Um, and we want also to assign all the workers to the station. So this uh, assignment is objective. And then we want to minimize the cycle time or equivalently uh, maximize the, the efficiency. And so cycle time is just the maximum over, over the station loads, which are the times each station takes to execute their tasks. Uh, here's a very simple example with uh, four workers and eight tasks. You can see the task worker matrix. So the times can, can vary wildly. There's some infinities inside, inside it. And the right hand side, you can see uh, basically a, a the transitively reduced deck uh, uh, representing the, the, the precedence orders. And so uh, you can uh, then go ahead and produce solutions. For example, um, you assign to station one, two, three, and four, uh, workers two, one, three, and four, and the station one receives the first task, the second station uh, task two and three, and so on. And then you get different loads. So in this case, we have uh, loads uh, three, eight, 29, and four. So the maximum load is 29, and the cycle time would be 29. Over all these possible assignments, we want to maximize, uh, so to minimize the cycle time or maximize the uh, productivity. Um, what are the current best methods for, for solving these problems? These are station-based uh, uh, heuristics. So basically, um, you, you repeatedly open a new station, uh, try uh, to assign each free worker, and then you apply a task selection rule to fill these stations. So the tasks, the available tasks are ranked. So that's basically the minimal elements in the, in, in the partial order. And among the minimum elements, you choose the next, uh, you, you, you assign it to the station and repeat until the station is full. And in the second part, you have a worker selection rule that then chooses among the best worker. And in this way, in this manner, you construct a solution stage by station. Um, to get to the state of the art, you extend this to a beam search and we're using a beam search here too. So you maintain a couple of, of the best solutions, uh, expand them randomly and um, you don't take always the task of the highest rank, but you take it with the probability R2 minus 2 to 2.5. These are all parameters plus for, for definiteness. I put the concrete value. So we maintain a beam of 125 solutions and expand it five times. And this finally will be embedded in an upper bound search, which starts in an upper bound for the cycle time and goes in intervals, which are about the, the, the next candidate cycle time and 5% below that and cycle the searches for, for better cycle times. Um, so, um, and our main focus here is on task selection. So we are interested, there are many task selection rules in the literature and we're interested if you can involve task selection rules um, for, for these methods. Um, so what we are doing here is um, we, we are building a better station-based assignment procedure for this, for this problem. It's called the ALBOP, the assembly line work assignment and balancing problem. Um, and uh, we propose uh, improvement to station-based assignment uh, 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 procedures, which has, has a, a, a kind of a constraint propagation, which gives you a better look ahead. Um, we uh, provide evidence that the rules evolved for a simple station-based assignment procedure works well within the uh, probabilistic beam searches. So that's uh, uh, one of the main uh, one of the main focuses on the, of this of this paper. Uh, and we provide a, a comparison to the current best heuristics for this for this problem. 
Um, so let me show you um, briefly how, how, how we represent the, the, the task ranks to, to select the tasks. So we have a set of terminals, which are the task attributes. We have a couple of unary and binary operators, which go over task priorities. So we can uh, basically have arithmetic expressions. We can aggregate these. And on the right-hand side, you can see an example of, of, of such a rule. It's an expression tree. Um, the whole list is over here, but basically we have uh, processing informations about processing times of the task and structural information um, about the task, such as its, its rank, uh, among the other workers, for example. Um, for, for the operators, we have uh, 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 arithmetic expressions of the priorities. We can randomize decisions. We have uh, convex combinations of, of, of priorities. We have a kind of rounding of priority worries, which, which uh, together with a multiplication factor leads to a, a sort of binning. So certain, certain tasks are uh, grouped into certain, certain groups or bins. And uh, uh, important, we can also sum over priority wallets over task sets. Um, so th these rules are, are um, partially inspired from rules, manually created rules that are um, that exist in the literature. Um, our overall um, uh, strategy in, uh, for the genetic programming then is we have a, we have a, we see the initial population with uh, seven well-known rules from the literature, which work really well. And completed randomly via tournament selection. We also have for, for uh, recombination and mutation tournament selection for the first and the second parent, different sizes. These are parameters which, which uh, are, have been calibrated. Um, and the parents are selected according to their surrogate fitness on, on half of, of, we have a set of 320 instances on half of these instances. Uh, we apply a subtree crossover and, and a subtree mutation. And we have a steady state replacement strategy. The population size after calibration is uh, 750, and we evaluate on, on half of the 160 of these instances. Um, so, um, for, for the methodology, 320 instances um, from the literature, which have been proposed uh, by Chavez, Lorin, and Reyes, uh, which apply these problems in, in sheltered work centers for. for persons with disability in, in uh, Valencia in, in Spain. And um, this instance are for different experimental factors which you can analyze. So that's the number of tasks, the order strength, so how much how much tasks are ordered, number of workers, the variability of task times, and uh, uh, a number of task worker incompatibilities. Um, um, one of the main results which I want to present to you is um, the evolution in beam searches. I mentioned that we have we have uh, basically a hierarchy of of, of uh, simple assi station based assignment procedures, and um, um, uh, beam searches and iterated beam searches, um, and it's basically impossible to involve the, the rules in within iterated beams uh, iterated beam searches because the, these methods just take too long. So our main interest was here uh, to see if uh, rules that uh, uh, evolve uh, in simpler allocation based procedures. Uh, transfer also to the to the more complex procedures. So in this table we compare uh, the best rule from the literature, which is called Max PW min. Um, so it's uh, um, uh, a rule which tries to select the task which has the, ma the, the maximum total time of its followers. Um, and uh, we can see uh, three methods: so a, a lower bound search, uh, which starts with the smallest possible cycle time and increases it; a lower bound search. Uh, with a beam uh, and uh, iterated probabilistic beam search. Uh, and we can see in all three of them that first, uh, the rule from the literature improves over these three methods, but also that the rule evolved by the, um, by the by genetic programming is always better. And most importantly for us here, uh, this rule was evolved in a simple uh, lower bound search, but the improvement transfers to the iterated the probabilistic beam search. Um, so that, that allows us to, to evolve these rules, uh, which would be otherwise impossible due to a computational complexity in a simpler context and, and transfer it to, to the state-of-the-art heuristics and the correlation of the, of the solution quality is about 70%. So if you take the best, uh, best uh, overall rule we find by genetic programming um, and evaluate it here in an example with 20, 20 applications, we can also improve about uh, on the state-of-the-art. So this is again, uh, embedded in, the, in an iterated probabilistic beam search, uh, this max PW min rule. And we see that um, 
the, um, the uh, gen who will evolve by genetic programming um, makes makes uh, a reasonable progress over over the um, uh, over the relative deviation from from the optimal solutions which are known for these instances um, uh, over all 320 instances. So we um, also see over the different applications that genetic programming can here ro robustly produce good rules and and that overall best rule improves the current best method. So this is this is very promising because I have many many variants for these um, for for these problems and um, so the next steps would be to apply these to to other problem variants, which is about insertion of workers into assembly lines, which is about parallel machines and other variants which are which are used in industrial practice. Um, so that's what I wanted to present. Um, and uh, if you want to. Uh, 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 see more. I would love to see you at the poster this afternoon. Thank you.